Hey, how's it going out there? Oh, uh, hello. There I'm Mr. Robinson. Howdy there. Hello. Um, hey, so welcome. Um, it's probably going to take a little bit of time for everybody to get in, so I'll wait a little bit before we start. Well, you just put the thing on classroom, right? Because I just got it. Yeah, I literally just put it up, so you're not late, yeah. Oh, OK. I was a little late finishing with AP Physics. They had some extra questions at the end of the period that I wanted to go over. Okay, that's fine. Oh, well, should we turn on the video or no? Uh, you can if you want. It's like not um, necessary really, but it, it's just if you want. If you want just audio only, that's fine. Okay. Uh, my video's on, right? Y'all can see me? Yeah. 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 Cool. Uh, anyway, let's see, where are we at, where are we at, who's here? Oh, wait, what, 17 people? 17 only... already? Tight, yeah, all right, cool. Um, yeah, that's everybody, tight, we could get going then, sweet. Um, item number one, uh, I hope this setup works for everybody. This is how we'll be doing notes for the foreseeable future. Um, I have my document cam set up at home, so every day we'll do lecture as if, you know, stuff is normal. Um, we'll start the days off with a do now. The only difference is instead of turning in the do now in person, you'll be turning in the do now uh, online in Google Classroom at the end of the week. Um, and let me go ahead and start off with announcements. So number one for the do now, how's it going? Just how are you holding up, like sheltering in place or whatever? Uh, in these trying times, if you need support that I can provide or material support, should you run out of a supply or whatever, uh, let me know, I'll do my best. Shoot me an email or message me directly through Google Classroom for that kind of help. Uh, the other thing that I wanna talk about is to try and like keep everybody sane. I wanna make sure that y'all aren't just like, I don't know, you will eventually run out of Netflix and video games. So here's some other stuff that y'all can do to try and keep your brain together. I'm reactivating 8-Bit Club. So I made a Google Classroom for it. If you wanna join 8-Bit Club in its new form, the Google Classroom code is 3QPTDNV. And we'll be holding Friday afternoon meetings where we just hop on Discord, chat about what video games are good to play while we're all stuck at home. Uh, and we'll also run some online games. We'll do a Smash tournament, maybe check out that new Call of Duty, but just something, you know, I also, I have my own friends I can play video games with. I'm not saying I don't have people that I can play with, but in case you wanna play with a bigger group or just keep up with everybody at school, uh, it's a good way to do that. Is that first part okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, part yeah. number two. 
I will be uploading all of these videos to YouTube. Um, so let me post the link in Google Classroom. Uh, and the reason why I'll be uploading all these to YouTube are in case you're uh, late or if you want to go over the way that I solved a problem one more time, you'll be able to hop there and do it. So if you look on Google Classroom, I just posted the link to uh, my YouTube channel. Um, and uh, they'll be going up there. I'll be separating it into various sub-channels, one for each class, so that it's easy to sort by. Uh, uh, and yeah, all of the videos that we do will be backed up there. Uh, is that second part okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. And let me elaborate on some of the announcements that I posted. I posted a three-part announcement about like what will be going on uh, in these times. Oh, I'm sorry, there are questions out there. Eric, do you have a question? Yeah, real quick. So the schedule in terms of workshop and everything, is it going to be the same? Yeah, and it's all on uh, the OWS in case you want to check it out. Oh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> Chris. Um, <laughs> and the, uh, yeah, 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 let me go over those announcements, the three-parter that I posted. Uh, so number one, I know that a lot of y'all have like gaming PCs. Yeah. Uh, or other higher end devices. I myself roll with a 1080 Ti overclocked edition. Um, yeah. And yeah. you, if you happen to have a gaming computer that you're not using while you're at school because you're supposed to be paying attention to this and not like losing at Call of Duty, um, you can actually use your computer to help researchers figure out how to deal with the coronavirus. Um, if you're looking here, you're about to get motion sick. So check this out. This is my battle station. This is this. This is the laptop that I used to do the notes, which creates this cool video effect of when you have a video oh, record cool. its own video. Uh, and really this is my, enough. yeah, this is my desktop. Um, inside there is a 1080 Ti, but I'm an adult, so I don't have a bunch of LEDs, right? Um, and then, yeah, I'm calling you out. I can, I mean, you know what, my keyboard has a bunch of LEDs, so I won't hate, but um, this is folding at home. So right now my computer is using its video card and I'm sorry, it's video card and it's CPU. In order to run simulations of proteins, this data is then sent back to the researchers doing this kind of work uh, in order to help find a, an answer to this viral problem faster than they would be able to otherwise. And here's the logic, man. People are always talking about like, oh, this supercomputer is so many millions of times faster than our normal computers, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. By that same logic, that means a million normal computers is just as strong as a supercomputer that the researchers use. So the links in Google Classroom, if you want to like help and if you do send me a screenshot and we'll like post it on the school social media bragging about what a good job we're doing. Uh, but every single little bit of processing power helps as we try to solve the puzzle that is uh, COVID-19. Eric, get another question? Um, yeah, so I was wondering, this doesn't technically matter anymore because it passed, but was there online Spartan time today? I want to make sure I didn't like miss the song. Oh, yeah. No. It was yesterday. It was yesterday. Oh, it was yesterday. Oh, is it the email from Baran Barta? And Miss mm -hmm. Gohar. Oh, that's was that, that was video? Fun. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all that they're doing in terms of Spartan time. I think they'll just be videos, not interactive like okay. this. Okay, so that's complete then. That's all. No, it's a good question. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, oh yeah, and here are some things that you can do to keep um, not just your mind active, but also your bodies active, because, uh, you know, citywide Los Angeles gyms, yoga studios, blah, 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 they've all been shut down. Here are some things that you can do for free to help keep yourself, I mean, or maybe even take the chance, just get ripped, you know, you're home all day so you can work out. <laughs> Um, also, can you all check your mics if you're not talking, mute it maybe, because I'm picking up somebody blowing into a microphone. Um, I mean, of course, I could just mute everybody, but that's lame. Uh, anyway, here are the apps that I would like to recommend while we're all stuck at home going crazy. Uh, item number one, Down Dog. Uh, Down Dog is a yoga app, uh, and it's... Uh, free right now because they know that everybody's stuck at home. So for everybody using it, the premium version of the app is free. Uh, you just set your difficulty, which they've all been unlocked for everybody. 
Um, you set how long you want to work out, uh, lots of choices or whatever, um, and you hit start. And it will actually generate a custom video for you, uh, along with an instructor who walks you through all of the steps on how to do a yoga. Uh, it's really good and it's free for the time being. And on top of that, it's free until the end of the month for everybody, but it's free for all students and teachers until July. Our school doesn't have a .edu, so I emailed the company directly to whitelist us and allow us to have free yoga until July. So when you make your account, make it with your school email, and as long as you do that, you should have free down dog premium until July. Uh, I totally just realized I am totally running a regular YouTube channel and podcast where I'm like, hey guys, check, I mean, they're not my sponsors, right? I wish, but um, this is just me yeah, plugging a free product. Oh, also, don't raise your hand. Literally, there's a way to raise your hand in the app. But yeah, what's the question? Um, it says I have to put my billing information for my thing. Um, Download it. It shouldn't. It should be free for everybody. See if you can just like skip past that without giving it anything. Okay, let me. Uh, or maybe it's like a bunch of other quote unquote free apps where you have to give billing information for them to hit you with a recur. But either way, it should be no money until July, so long as you make it with your school account. Uh, mm -hmm. Here's the other workout app I'd like to recommend. Um, if you're feeling brave, like me, and you go running or whatever, I'm still running. So Nike Run Club is cool. It's just that when I see other runners out there, I like make a nice wide circle around them or cross to the other side of the street. Uh, the other app that Nike has, and the cool stuff about this Nike uh, apps is that it will keep track of your fitness and move you up through levels, and you can have friend lists on there and compete with them over who's, like, doing the hardest workouts. Uh, but it's called uh, Nike Training Club, NTC. It's a bright yellow logo. And, yo, straight up, it's CrossFit, uh, except you make your own playlist of CrossFit-type workouts. Um, you install it on your phone, and you can make playlists, workout, all that good stuff. Um, and it'll keep track of it for you. And it has different settings based on what you have at home. So if you have no what equipment, is it called? Nike Training Club, NTC. Okay. Uh, it has plenty of workouts that you can do that don't need any equipment. If you have a little bit of equipment, you tell it you have basic equipment. If you happen to have just like regular dumbbells and resistance bands. Uh, and then if you have a full gym, there's even settings for that. So no matter what workout gear you have or don't have, there is some kind of workout you can do in Nike Training Club. Um, the last thing I'm going to recommend that you put on your phone to help you through, uh, you know, this stuck at home time, uh, is for turning in assignments, Office Lens, which is a Microsoft app, is very useful. What, uh, Microsoft Office Lens lets you do is like, let's say I'm going to take this in so that I can turn it in. When you take a picture, it'll automatically Photoshop it, the background white, the text black, and it crops it rectangular and turns it into a PDF. So if you wanna make sure the stuff that you're scanning and uploading is really easy to read for your teachers, use Microsoft Office Lens. That way you don't have to go over to your scanner. It takes forever to scan stuff, you know, this is way quicker, way easier, considering we're all gonna be scanning and uploading a bunch of documents in the coming days. Uh, is all that okay? Yep. Uh, do y'all have any yeah. questions out there before we get into this? Oh yeah, is under the the letter or number under three? Is that a five or an E? This? Yeah. That's an E. Oh okay. Yeah, so it's the name of this point right here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Y'all ready to go over the warm-up and then do today's notes? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Wait, um, Mr. Ross, yeah. uh, can I ask a quick off-topic question and then we can get into lecture? Sure. Uh, wait, do you think it's going to get to the point where we go into total lockdown? Um, we already are. I don't, I'm not really sure what that question is unless you're like fully aware of what advisories have been given out so bars well, no, and I mean, restaurants like, are closed all schools are closed no i mean like you're like legally not allowed to leave your house unless you're going to like a pharmacy stuff like that literally 
like arrest you if you walk out. We are basically already there, except the legal onus is on businesses, not on individuals yet. Yeah. That other thing you're describing, I don't know if we get there. I uh, don't have that information. So even if it's legal, ideally you shouldn't walk outside, right? For the time being. Um, walking outside is fine, but what is problematic is how close you are to other people or how much you interact with other people when you go outside. So I'm still running my like uh, workout runs for marathon training, but when I go outside, if I see other people, I make sure that nobody enters a two meter circle around myself. I see. Uh, okay, so let's go and do this warm up. Could I get a volunteer to tell me what is the scale factor and how do you know? This is a weird one, but it's doable. Anybody? Sorry, uh, for the 13, is that for AC or is that for the small triangle? Because, like, that would make it, like, easier. There is, is the no thir 13. I'm sorry if I was unclear about the side lengths, but here are what lengths we have. I have a triangle with a parallel line inside it. So this, these two are parallel. This and length is 3. This length is B. This is what we're solving for. This length is X, but this length is also X. So it would be the same as saying this and this are congruent. Oh, is AC, is that thing above three a capital B? This? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this is A, B, C, D, E. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a 13. My bad, yeah, this is just the letter B. Yeah, this webcam is old, and because everybody suddenly bought webcams to do their home conferencing, webcams are sold out on Amazon, so I'm on a very long wait list to get a better one, but when I get a better one, this picture will be better. Is the scale factor three? No, it is not. How did you get three? I don't know. I did something. I don't think it's right. Wait, can I? Can you set up the uh, scale factor in the proportion of uh, three over x equals b over two x? That works. That works. So okay. let's uh, start there, and then we'll we'll roll with that. Yeah. So here are similar triangles. These are parallel. So this lets me say that well, this angle and this angle are congruent. This angle and this pair of angles are also congruent. This is just corresponding angles of parallel lines, right? And yeah, 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 this now lets me write a similarity statement for these triangles. I can say that triangle A, B, E is similar to what other triangle? A, C, D. A, C, D. A, C, D. And remember, when we write our similarity statement, we got to go around in the same order and hit the angles in the same order. So yeah, you have to say A, C, D. You can't change that order at all. And now that we have a similarity statement, we can totally start writing proportions. And to make it um, a little bit clearer, because don't get me wrong, the answer I was given is correct, but let me make it even clearer, right? I can say that three divided by b, right? So this short length divided by this big length, three divided by b is equal to what? x divided by x. So we have our short length here, which is x. Oh, x if this two is x. saying, two x if this x. is saying short divided by big, then this also needs to be short divided by big. So it'll be short, but what's the big length? Two x. 2x, x plus x, which is 2x. So this is going to be x divided by 2x. So what cancels on the right-hand side? The x's. The x's, right. This x, this x cancel. So this, tell me, this tells me that 3 over b is equal to 1 over 2. So even though we don't know what x is, since we know that each piece in the set is equal, what is our scale factor? Um, Two. Two to one, or one to oh, two, one. depending on how you want to say it. But yeah, the scale factor must be two to one because this gives us the information that it's going to be x versus two x. This also lets us solve for b. Since we know the scale factor is two to one, I can solve this by cross multiplication. And what do I get? Um, b equals six. And we're done.
if the scale factor is two to one, if this bigger triangle is double the size of this smaller triangle on the inside, then this side length B, it must be six. Uh, and that's it for today's warm up. Just something light and breezy to get us back into doing math after four days of emergency prepping. Uh, question? How do you know like oh. three is divided by B? Like how do you like assume that? There are lots of different proportions that would all set up to give you the correct answer as long as there is a logic to it. So here was my logic to this ratio. This short side divided by this big side must be proportional to this short side divided by this big side. But there's lots of different ratios that you could write that would all give you the same answer. Here's another one. If you wanna keep the proportions within a triangle, I could say the side that's standing up and down divided by the flat side must be equal to the same ratio over here. So for the big triangle, what side is standing up and down? CD, which I'm saying has a length of lowercase b divided by this length here on the big side, which is, what is that length? Uh, 2x. 2x, because it's x plus x. And notice, even though this proportion and this proportion appear differently, they have the exact same cross product. So if I hit it with the cross product, we're going to get 3, 2x is equal to bx. And what cancels on both sides? What can we divide out? x. x cancels, and b is still 6. So as long as there's a rhyme and reason to how you set up your proportion, it'll still give the same answer. Are there any other questions out there? Uh, yes. So the way I gave, we were unable to solve it because there wasn't enough information that way. There is, though. So the way I said I was Oh, wait. Doing... Don't get me wrong. You can't solve for X. There's not enough information to solve for X, but there is enough information to solve for B. Okay, but the way you did it was different because it was more clear. Did you end up with six? Uh, no, I haven't done it yet, but I'll do it right now. If the way that you set it up still gives back an answer of B equals six, it's considered to be mathematically equivalent. Mm -hmm. uh, is this okay? Are there any questions up through here? Okay, normally it won't take this long, but you know, it's a little bit slower today just because I had all those announcements. Just a quick reminder, uh, get some exercise apps on your phone so that you can keep your bodies active uh, while we're all cooped up. It'll make it you know, more bearable. Uh, and do add to 8-Bit Club if you wanna play games in the afternoons. Um, and if you have a PC and you wanna donate some of your computer's power to help you know, fight disease, consider installing Folding at Home. It's a great um, achievement of science. Nonetheless, today we're gonna to talk about the last section of notes before our mid-chapter quiz. Today we're gonna to be talking about 7.4, um, which is called Parallel Lines and Proportional Parts. Mr. Robinson? Yes. Do you want us to turn in the warm-ups at the end of like each class or the end of the week? At the end of the week, just like uh, when school's in session, I'll be collecting them on the last day of the week. I'll just open up an assignment in Google Drive and we'll all um, upload our work there. Oh, I got two more questions. Just uh, unmute your mic and talk. What's up? Um, do you know how we're going to take the quizzes and tests? That's a good question. So, um, and just because it's a thing that you'll have to get used to, this time around, the review for the mid-chapter quiz will be um, basically a sample so that you can see how it's done. Uh, while we're at home, the tests and quizzes will be two parts. Um, part one is going to be online multiple choice through Google Forms, and it'll be set up so that everybody's letter choices are different. It'll randomize it for each one of you, so that'll be half of the test. The other half of the test will be um, a PDF of questions that I write and put up, and you'll have basically the same length as a, as a class period to answer those questions and put them up. So of course, I'm trusting y'all to have some level of academic honesty, uh, but of course I trust you. And two, when y'all go to college, you will find that a bunch of the midterms are um, take home and of a similar form where the midterm goes up online, you have maybe four or five hours to do it, and usually the take-home midterms are made so that even though you're at home and you have access to the internet or whatever, 
that's still not gonna help you, not really. To finish the test within the allotted time, you still need to know what you're doing, which is why it's important to keep up with the notes and the homework while we're all at home. Mr. Robinson, is the quiz Thursday? Sorry? Is the quiz Thursday or Friday? No, no, that's too soon since we're all getting used to being at home. So oh, okay. um, the we have this lecture today, tomorrow will be the workshop and I'll be posting the solutions then. Thursday, we're gonna do a review of the first four sections of the chapter. Mm -hmm. And that's where I'll show y'all a sample of what the take home quiz will look like so that you can get used to it. That quiz that we do on Thursday will just be homework. It'll just be considered chapter seven, mid chapter review. And then the actual take home quiz will be on Monday at normal class time. Oh, okay. Wait, so what are we doing? Wait, oh, there's no school Friday? There's no school Friday because it's supposed to be an all day teachers conference. We're all just gonna like Zoom with each other and get caught up about what it is that we're doing to uh, keep the teaching going. Okay, thank you. Yeah, also, how are your other four? Uh, Eric, you have another question? Oh uh, yeah, real quick, do you know when parent-teacher conferences? Uh, they are postponed until we get back to normal. For whatever reason, we're not doing those by Zoom, or at least that's what it says on the calendar. Oh, okay. But of course, if your parents have individual questions, just have them email me, man, I'm home all day. All right, I see. Um, All right, cool. Uh, any questions up through there? Cool. Uh, and uh, y'all have been having your other classes today. Have they been basically like this? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Well, we only had Wait. one other class. For, uh, Mr. Sofford can do it, and then our Armenian teacher can do it. Oh, okay. For, for Mr. Weeby, we just had a quiz. Did other people set up document cameras? They just did um, some. Well, Armenian sorry, kind of. Oh, well, Miss Nair shared her. She, she screen shared. Like, she shared her screen share. Yeah. She did yeah, yeah. So screen sharing stuff is good for some stuff. We'll be doing screen share. Um, like, and this is just a sample. This isn't for y'all. This is a thing I was doing with AP Physics earlier. Um, but like, I can share like my Desmos screen with you if I want to try and show y'all like some crazy graphs or whatever. So we will be doing a little bit of that um, when it's uh, appropriate. But for the most part, when we do regular notes, it'll just be through my little document cam. Okay. Um, okay. Mr. Robinson? Yep. Wait, do you, it sent me a notification that you want me to stay unmuted? No. Oh, is that a nice? No. It's like the host wants you to unmute your microphone. Uh, it, that's only when I like click on your hand after you oh, raise okay. your hand, but uh, y'all are the honors group, so I'm just trusting that y'all can. Uh, manage your microphone muting and unmuting. And if it's like unreasonable, then I'll just mute you myself, but I, I wouldn't trip. I see. Okay, anyway, so here's what we want to take away from today. Uh, for the most part, um, we have been talking about parallel lines with proportional parts, but the last section that we dealt with was parallel lines and proportional parts, but specifically for triangles only. So we're gonna start off just by codifying some of the rules for dealing with parallel lines and proportional parts when we happen to have a triangle which has a proportional, sorry, a parallel line within it. So when it comes to triangles with parallel lines, let's go ahead and start off with some oblique triangle. Something like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in an additional parallel line in the middle and I know that they're parallel because they get that mid-segment parallel line part. And because of that mid-segment parallel line part, I can say that these two angles are congruent to each other by the corresponding angle theorem. These two angles are congruent to each other by the same theorem, because if we were to imagine these lines extended out in space, this is in the top left corner of the cut of four. This is also in the top left corner of the cut of four. Those are corresponding. And once I have two angles, that is more than sufficient to say that these two triangles are proportional to each other. So again, if I go around with my standard letters, A, B, C, D, and E, this is enough information to say that triangle A, C, E, my big triangle, is similar to my small triangle B, C, D. And any information in there that we could possibly use to set up some type of proportionality is ours to use, it is all valid. So let's go ahead and say that I have the following lengths built in here. Let's say that I have, um, hmm, uh, let's say that this length is x plus two, 
this length is x. And then on the other side, this length here is uh, 10. And this smaller length, a to b right here, this is 7. The important part to keep in mind that when it comes to writing proportionalities for similar triangles, whenever we write our proportions, they need to use entire lengths. That is the biggest key to making sure you, that you get the correct answer every time. That is to say, is x, is this guy right here, a length of a triangle? No. 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 We need to use the entire line. You need to use the entire length. So if we wanted to pull this length, it would be x plus 2 plus an additional x. And what's two. x plus x? 2x. 2x. 2x, good. Plus so two. I'm going to set this up so that we can solve for x. So uh, let's do this. A uh, little triangle first. So it'll be uh, 10 divided by x plus 2. the left side divided by the right side. And this should be equal to, if this is true for our big triangle, we should be able to write the same proportion. So for the big triangle, what's the left side here? 17. Seven. 17, because it's that total length. Yeah. And then divided by the right-hand side's total length. 2x plus, x plus, two. Two. Two x plus 2. 2x two plus 2. And now that we have an equal proportion, what can we do? Cross multiply. multiply. We'll cross multiply. We'll do. Uh, this side equal to this product. And so I'm going to get that 20x plus 20. Keep in mind, 10 times the quantity of 2x plus 2, the 10 distributes to both pieces. Same thing here, the 17 must distribute. Oh, do we have a question? Yeah, yeah. What's up? Did you write 17? Yeah. Where did that yeah. 17 come from? It says Great. 7. 10, 10 plus 10. Plus 10. 10. Oh, okay. Really good question, yeah. When we write proportions with triangles, we want to pull the whole side. It's going to be 10 plus 7, yeah? And so this is going to be equal to 17x plus, what's 17 times 2, y'all? 34. Great, 34. And now the rest is just solving for x. So I'm going to subtract 17x from each side. I'm going to subtract 20 from each side. So we're going to get that 3x, 20 minus 17, is going to be equal to what's 34 minus 20? 14. 14. 14. And so therefore, x is equal to 14 over 3, which doesn't simplify. Yeah. Uh, is that first part OK? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Easy. Great. Okay, uh, and so here is this next part. If you have multiple sets of parallel lines, having multiple sets of parallel lines can lead to similar quadrilaterals. So here's the other case in which we would look at parallel lines in order to help us figure out exactly how we would set up various proportions. So let's go ahead and say that I have uh, three parallel lines. And then I have some uh, transversals, where from two chapters ago, what's the uh, transversal? The line that just crosses through. Yeah, through. a line that may or may not intersects yeah. various parallel lines, right? Yeah. Yeah. So these three lines are parallel. We know that to be true because they all have mid-segment arrows. Technically, every single one of these uh, endpoints needs its own set of arrows. I'm also going to name them. So I'm going to say that of our parallel lines, this is line one, line two, line three. And then for our transversals, these transversals will be line A and line B. So here's why I gave these three just L's, because these are my parallel lines that I'm interested in. So the condition that makes any of this possible is the fact that line one is parallel to line two, is parallel to line three.
And based on this, I can write a bunch of different proportions that would then allow me to solve for unknown values within the set. Basically, when it comes to these types of parallel lines, what we are looking for for potential proportions are the spaces in between the parallel lines. So let's go ahead and say that these lengths here are H, K, I, and J. So notice that these two fall in the space in between line three and line two, and these two fall in between the space of K and J. There are a couple different correct proportions that we can write here for the lengths. We could say that this little side divided by this long side is equal to, guess what? The other little side divided by the largest. K divided by I. Yeah, this little length divided by this long length. So we could say K over J, sorry, K over H is equal to J yeah. over I. Or, the same way how with triangles, there are different proportions we can write as long as we have a rhyme and reason to them. I could also say that in this space, the top line divided by the bottom line must necessarily be equal to K over J. K over J. Oh no, I've made a mistake and now it's going to go onto YouTube forever. that as long as these are being bound up by the same parallel lines, that this bottom proportion is also necessarily true. Is this okay? Yeah. yeah. Um, though I would say typically the easiest way to do this stuff is this formulation. This is probably the one that you want, uh, just because it's easier to consider things in line with one another. Uh, let me do one numeric example, and then I'll be done with lecture on this section. Um, it's going to be a lot of the triangle type questions that y'all have already seen, plus some additional questions of this nature. Um, so without labeling out all of that stuff again, just a quick example. Oh, Eric, do you have a question? Yeah. Um, yes. Does the Zoom go on for the whole class session? Yeah. So like even when we're working on the homework and stuff? Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. So if you have a question, just holler and I'll like solve it in the doc cam and then everybody can see it and have one for your homework solution. Um, yeah. I see. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. And again, uh, as I'm always like a broken record about like, yo, this stuff's really common on SATs and ACTs. So be sure to have this skill in your back pocket. Whenever you see a bunch of parallel lines like a web, Remember, what you are being asked to do is set up some proportions and solve for the unknown values. So let's go ahead and say that I have some values here where this is gonna be the variable, um, I don't know, Z. This bottom one is just a little bit longer. So we'll say that this is Z plus one. And on the other side over here, uh, we have some known lengths so that we can actually set up a, a good proportion. We'll say that this is three and that this one down here is just a little bit longer, so it is five. So the easiest way to set this up is to, again, take the pieces that are in line with each other to write our proportions, take the pieces that are in line with each other to set up our proportions. So this is to say that three over five must be equal to? Z over uh, Z plus one. Great. And it's always a good logic check to be like, oh, small over big small over big, because if Z is positive, Z plus one has to be bigger than Z, yeah? And so now I'm gonna hit these guys with a cross multiply. So that's gonna give me three times Z plus one is equal to five times Z. What is this left-hand side equal to? Three Z plus three. Good, remember the three distributes. I'm now gonna subtract three Z from each side. And therefore, Z has to be equal to? Two Z. Three, three over two. Oh. Three, yep, divide the two over to the other side. We get three over two, which is the same as just, well, one and a half. 
one and a so half. So this is to say that for this to be true, if these are actually parallel lines with each other, this z is uh, one and a half, which is the same as three halves. And then z plus one is going to be three and a half plus two over two, which is five over two. And this makes it so that this divided by this gives us three fifths. This divided by this also gives us three fifths, while also obeying the rule that this is z and this is one bigger than z. Uh, are there any other questions on the current homework assignment? No. No? OK. Uh, this time is yours to get started. And if you have any questions, you can just, uh, I would say, call me over. But you know, we're not sitting at, at tables with each other. Feel free to leave your mics on if y'all just want to like chit chat about the problems. And if you have any questions from the homework, just holler at me about the page and the number. And I would be glad to either work it out for you live on stream or at the very least set up the proportion for you in case you're unsure. I have a question. Yeah. Um, is the homework posted on, uh, on Google Classroom right now? No, I don't think it is. I think I put that off uh, just because I wasn't sure what we were doing. Let me add it. So it'll be homework 7.4. And it'll be due tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Because tomorrow we'll have a warm up that's just a hard version of this same section. And then you'll have the whole period tomorrow to work on it and ask questions because uh, asking y'all to just do a bunch of math homework on your own is cruel. Mr. Robinson, you said you'd yeah. post the answers at some point. Tomorrow. Yeah, which is like weird because of copyright stuff. I don't think I can post on the Google solutions Classroom? online in a way, huh? On Google Classroom, you can't post it. Yeah, because you could download them. So what I think I'm going to do instead is I can like, this is about to be super boring. I think I'm just going to read them out like on camera or whatever. I can't think of any other good way to do it because I don't want to share them or I don't even really want to share them by screen capture on this just because, you know, then you'll have access to them forever too. Kind of the reason why I post them in class is because then I can take them down and destroy them. I think we might be going so far as like, I'm just going to read out the answers. Or to be real, for the most part, if it's just a math question, there are plenty of resources online that can do the algebra for you if that's where your question is. Keep in mind that uh, you can always just go to Wolfram Alpha, and Wolfram Alpha can do the algebra part top to bottom. The geometry part is just setting it up. Uh, so the assignment is up in Google Classroom in case you're already done and you want to upload your work. Uh, also, like I said, if you get a chance, be sure to go to the YouTube channel, hit subscribe and like so that you can see as new videos go up. And uh, if I happen to make ad revenue off of your guys's rewatches of old lectures or lectures from when you're absent, if there is any ad money, I will put it towards a class party at the end of the year. Thank you. Yup. Yay. Um, so feel free to work on the current homework assignment. And if you have any questions, holler, and I'll gladly work on them over here under the camera. And if I can get a cat to come visit me, I'll show you guys a cat. Cat. Yeah, that's been the best part about being stuck at home is there's like tiny cats all the time everywhere. Uh, I don't know. Oh my what God. Jesus. I don't know what they're doing though. Who is just being beeped? Got honked. Okay, honked. Oh, also, one more quick thing, uh, if I didn't mention it already, I'm going to be keeping all the notes on paper while I'm at home, so if you ever miss a note and want um, it sent to you, just email me what day's notes you're missing, and I'll scan and upload them, and I'll send the email off right away. I'm just not going to, like, scan them all by default just because it's, like, time-consuming, uh, but if you ever miss a day's worth of notes, just let me know. We'll all be available. And uh, also, if you have any friends of yours who aren't in my class who you want to like be in 8-Bit Club or whatever on Fridays, uh, give them the cl Google Classroom code and tell them to add, and we'll get some games going on Friday. Sounds fun. Yeah, it's better than just playing the same three video games from your childhood over again and again. Like, learn some new stuff, you know? I mean, otherwise... Like, I'm the biggest hypocrite. I'm just, like, hanging out at home playing Game Boy. Oh. Wait, so is this straight out of the book, the 7.4? Did you post the worksheet? 
Uh, it's a worksheet, and I gave it to everybody on the last day of school before we all got sent home. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, 7.4. So what would 7.5 and 7.6 be? From here forward, all of the homeworks, I will be posting the PDFs to Google Classroom. And you don't even have to print them out. You can just uh, do them on a separate piece of paper and upload the work, and I'll grade it from there. I see. Wait, Alex. Yeah. Other. Hi. Hi. Alex thing was. Alex thing closed on. Wait, who's the thing of your Minecraft thing? Wait, what? Who's the host of that Minecraft thing? Of the server? Uh. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. My ears. Oh my god. Hold on, I'm gonna give you my name so you can invite me. Bro, we about to set the greatest realm of all time. Wait, so tomorrow's a do now and then it's a workshop for the rest of class? Yep. Oh yeah, and just like when we're my in class... My ears, you, damn. Who is opening a bag right. of chips into their microphone? Um, <laughs> if you, uh, oh. This isn't ASMR time right now. Like, you need to calm down. <laughs> oh no! If you, um, just like when we're in class, if you finish your work and upload it, and I see that on Google Classroom, uh, once you're done with the homework, if you don't want to like be in the chat while we do workshop, you're free to leave early. But just know that I'll like be checking names against who's turned it in in Google Classroom. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, it's like I used to have easy. that game. I'm still taking attendance, uh, and I'm still grading participation. So please do attend and participate, even though we're doing it all in the internet. I'll do the first two pages. Wait, no one was late today, right? Yeah, no, 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 don't trip. Nobody's gonna be late ever. That's like I'm not gonna penalize you because your internet was slow to load. Oop. And even if you are absent, yo, just holler at me. Tell me you like rewatch the video on YouTube, and I'll um, you won't lose participation for missing a lecture as long as you uh get caught up on YouTube. Secret heart. Robinson. Yeah. My sister's asking, what's that protein thing called that you load it on your computer? Oh, it's called Folding at Home. If you go to Google Classroom and you go to a posting from over the weekend, the link is there. Okay, thank you. Yeah, for sure, yeah. And if you're ever not using a computer, like run it and it'll, it might help find the solution to the virus. Okay, thank you. Yep. Wait, where did Mr. Ruby's key issue go? He put it, he took it off. Why? Hey. Um, he said we already did, like we covered most of it. Oh, okay. And Epic. That that quiz is so easy. No. Easiest ever. So easy. Only, only two questions. Two questions? No, why she assign us friendly wise? Who? Miss Anush. Ah bow. Oh. I cry now. Sad oh, sad fine. people noises. Sad, sad cry. Um Hmm. Yeah. Are you gonna join Harachi's world? Oh, buggy? I'm gonna join right now. Is dead? Yeah, no, Harachi's dead. Wait, did he invite yeah. you? I definitely whooped him. I I definitely whooped him in a video game today. Definitely. Which did. one? Which one? Which one? Which Dragon Ball Fighters. I'm so. Boy, shut up! <laughs> 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 I knew that would get him to talk. Okay, y'all, check it out. It's my cat. This is Boogie. Oh, where's cat. Boogie? But I can't see for some reason. Wait, where's cat? Yeah, I, I can see. only see Pakarian. Say, I don't know what's happening. Zoom is going to be my new gaming channel. Yeah. Oh, I want to see. Something happened. Hey! Well, I'm pin on it again. Hey. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's cracking me because she's not very friendly. I'm only seeing my face. What? Are, both, are both your cats with you right now? Um, only Boogie's in this office. I think Oogie's probably downstairs taking a nap on the couch. She usually comes up here and takes a nap in the chair I'm sitting in, so she's not very home, or very happy that I'm home. Damn. Oh, posting my dog is getting my homework. Yay! <laughs> Dang, I mean, the ink is soy based, so that makes Here, sense. Show your dog to the camera. Yes, I see that pupper. Okay, go. 
Uh, do y'all have any questions on the homework? Um, no. Huh? Not it's pretty easy. Sure. Yep. So wait, so the mid chapter quiz is gonna be one through four lessons? Yes, this is the last section before the mid chapter quiz, yeah. And when was it again? It'll be on Monday after Monday. we get a chance to do a review on Thursday, and you'll also get a chance to see what format the test will be so that you're not blindsided by the shape of my take home tests. When type babies, do they chew things like dogs or not? Wait, what? Do cats chew things as babies oh. like dogs? Oh yeah, they're little idiots, yeah. Uh, one time Oogie ate an entire like ball of string. He just like swallowed it from beginning to end, so we had to take him to the vet so that he would throw it up. Um, yeah, they're little destroyers, man. Robinson, you wanna yeah. know? I have a question about the homework. Yeah, please. On the first page, um, number six, Yep. Is the correct proportion x plus 10 over x and 30 over 10? First page, number six. So x you're looking. X. Uh, so we're talking about page 24, right? Yeah. Um, so let me draw it for everybody not following along, and then I'll set up the correct proportion for you. Okay. Um, I got five. Okay. So you're asking about this guy? Yeah where I got this, x plus 10, this and this are parallel, this little cut here is x, this is 30, and this is 10. So tell me what your proportion is. Um, x plus over x okay. equals 30 over 10, I think. Oh, so keep in mind that when we're doing this for triangles, we need to include whole lengths. Oh. So this is not a whole length. This is not a piece that we would want to use. So let's do it this way. It'll be this length here, x plus 10, divided by the total length. And what's x plus 10 plus x? 2x plus 10. OK. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. So it's going to be 30, 30. divided by the new total length, 30 plus 10, which is? 40. 40. And then you hit this guy with a cross multiply and solve. So we'll get 40x plus 400 is equal to 60x plus 300. And then the rest is uh, algebras and arithmetic. Okay. Uh, I have a cool question. question. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I got two questions out there. Eric, what's up? Um, You said how some of the less chapters from here, we're not going to do the whole thing. It's just going to be half a chapter or stuff. For, oh, this no, so for this chapter, we're only doing six sections because section seven is what you did for the project. Oh, I see. Section seven is about making drawings. Oh, by the way, I didn't tell you all as a group. Uh, collectively, good job on the project. Thanks for getting all of them in on time. I was really happy with the work. And from uh, some of y'all, I sent an email asking you to hold the project so that when we get back to school, I can put them up. Please do do that so that I can like redecorate that geometry wall when we get back. <laughs> Um, how do you solve number three on the homework, the first page? Uh, first page? Mm, okay. Oh, oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So number three is exactly like our warm-up. That's why I did this. I don't know what X and X are, but this is enough information to tell me that the ratio of this bottom side length has got to be X to 2X. So that's enough to know that this scale factor is 2 to 1, right? Okay. So if you're looking at question number five, what do you think the scale factor is between those two triangles? Um, like two? It has to be two to one also because you have those congruent lines. So if the short side is X and the long side is 35, that means X has to be exactly half of 35. It's just 35 over two. Oh, okay. The congruent lines, same thing here, automatically give us a two to one ratio. Okay, thank you. Yep, very good. Mila. Oh, she's hungry. Do you guys know what we're supposed to do for the Armenian project? We have an Armenian project. We have an Armenian project. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little bit of a hater. If y'all have like chat about other classes, text each other or whatever, just because I want to keep this uh, clean for my YouTube upload. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's not a big deal. But yeah, just I assume you are all texting each other anyway. Wait, do you edit this? 
I am way too lazy for that. No, I'm just going to take them all raw and put them up on YouTube. Okay. So all our voices are going to be on YouTube. I guess, yeah. And faces. Uh, that part I don't know. I think I have it set to only record my cat. But it should be everybody's audio, which I do want everybody's audio for stuff like this, of like somebody asked a question and we did it. My audio is not working. Oh. Also, the YouTube is also partially for your parents, man, just so that they know that, like, even though y'all are at home, you're still doing stuff, you know? Yeah, I hear you. Mortal get works. Oh, you can hear me? Oh, okay. Hey, yeah, yeah welcome. It wasn't working for a while. <laughs> uh, so, Mr. Yeah. Robinson? Yeah. When can we leave? Oh, yeah, so uh, regular class time. Class ends in, like, two minutes. But, like oh, I said, okay. um, whenever you finish your homework and upload it, if I check the current homework assignment and you're good to go, feel free to log off and work on stuff that you might have for other classes, especially since I know y'all are probably getting more reading and essays than usual, right? I don't yeah. like that. Kill them off. <laughs> no, it's good oh, for yeah. you, man. It'll keep your mind healthy while you're stuck at home, keep your body healthy, and we'll come out on the other side of this like nothing happened. I can't even Wait, work you out. think, Mr. Robinson, Wait. we're going to come back to school while the school year is still going on? That is the current plan, though I would be lying if I told you I knew the answer to that for sure. It depends on how the infection proceeds through the community at large <coughs> and uh, what rules are put in place by the city. Because at this point, we shut ourselves down a few days before the city would have. But at this point, all schools are shut down by order of the city. And when they will be allowed to reopen is up to them. So it's kind of out of our hands as a school. But no matter what, this will keep going and you will get your education. Wait, is it only Pasadena or like all schools in LA? All schools in LA are shut down. Oh. Wait, and then, yeah, and then most public schools, like I know CV, they're not doing any online school. They're basically just sitting at home all day. No, well, because they're doing nothing now. Uh, it's because there's, okay, so like me doing this, I was able to, yo, somebody's microphone is open Bruh. while they are getting a call. Um, uh, this stuff or whatever, I, this is the way I used to teach. Like before I had access to SmartBoard, I would do document cam like this and then just send it out through a projector. So I'm really used to lecturing in this style. With the public schools, man, they have so many more teachers. They all have to be trained. And so I'm sure they're all trying to get to the place where they can have all their teachers teaching like this. But to do this, you need to send every teacher home with a webcam. Because like if you're watching the feed, like here's what is making this possible. Um, it's just a webcam pointed down at my desk using like custom software so that it can capture my notes. Uh, but they need to train all of the older teachers in how to do this at home so that we can keep things going on as normal. I'm sure all of the public schools will open up online classes too after they train hundreds of teachers, which could take weeks. So Ross, I have a question on the homework reading. Yes. Um, first page number five. Yeah, yeah, I have a question for that, too. Uh, first page, number five, and then this will be the last question that I'll take before we shut down for the day. Uh, so here's our triangle, 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 triangle. We got a parallel line in there, which is how we know we're setting up a proportion. Somebody has a tornado going on in their microphone. Please mute. You're doing your mic like crazy. Thank you. Uh, and so, like I said, whenever it comes to writing these proportions for triangles, make sure the things that you are dividing are entire lengths of triangles and not just partial lengths. So here I got 11, here I got 33. Really easy proportion to set up. But the trick is, what is that proportion for these pieces? What's the numerator? Instead of 11, I have... Oh, instead of... You had x plus x plus 12. So if my right-hand proportion is 11 divided by the total length, 33, on the left-hand side, this is going to be x divided by the total length. So what is the total length? x2 plus 12. X, 2x plus x, plus x plus 12. And x plus x, plus x is 12. 2x. Exactly, 2x plus 12. And then again, we hit this homie with a cross multiply, and we get 33x is equal to 22x plus uh, the product of 11 and 12. Why don't you just do x plus 12 equals 22? Okay. x plus, say that again? Can you just do x plus 12 equals 22? 
How do you know that it's equal to 22? Because you say the whole thing is 33, and if that's 11, the rest is 22. You could only say that if you knew this was an isosceles triangle, but that information is not indicated. Oh. That's a good question. If this was an isosceles triangle, then they would just be equal. But if all we have is information about parallelness, then all we have is information about proportionality. Okay. So this is going to be uh, 22x plus 1, 32, the product of 11 and 12. Subtract 22x from each side. 11x is equal to 132. And so x is equal to... Mr. Is class done, Mr. Robinson? And so x is equal to 12. Um, and so they're not exactly equal. It's going to be 11 to 33 is as to, uh, did I make a mistake? No, no, yeah, 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 X is No, it's right, it's right. Okay. Um, any questions here? It's right, it's right. No. Uh, well, that'll do it for today, and I'll see y'all tomorrow, same time, same place. And like I said, be sure to subscribe on YouTube, et cetera, so that you can follow the updates there as uh, this stuff plays out. I'll see y'all tomorrow for workshop. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you.